SHUT UP! That cat can't reach that ledge. Hey, uh, Anthony, you're getting a call from a white bread? Oh, yeah. Uh, his name's Brad, but I know like 23 Brads, so it's the only way I can remember his name. Oh, because Brad sounds like bread. No. He just, he really likes bread? No, he has a gluten allergy. Oh. He's really, really white, like white bread. No, that's white Brad. Of course, not to be confused with Brad White, who's actually Puerto Rican, and I know two white Brads, so it gets kind of crazy. What do you call the other white Brad? Black Brad. He and I met on a Black Mirror fan site. Well, why don't you just call him by his last name? Well, his last name's actually White, so that would make no sense at all. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> Look, I know this whole thing's kind of confusing for you, but I have this whole system down that works perfectly for me, okay? So, what's, what's my name in your system? It's just Ian. Ian? That's it? Yep. Give me, give me, give me, stop it, give me, give me. Small dick Ian? No, it's not what you think, okay? It's just that all the other Ians I know are taller than you. That's not true in any capacity. Yes. I am at least six inches taller than Ian Cohen. Okay, but he's a little bit more plump, so technically you're still smaller, so. So what do you call him, fat Ian? No, I would never categorize someone by their physical attributes. I call him by his middle name, Greg. Then what do you call our friend Greg? Henry G. Okay, and how about Henry? Triple H. Is he just a big fan of early 2000s wrestling? He has three H's in his name, Henry Hawthorne Heights. Wrestling Dave is the one that actually loves wrestling. But you know, now that I think of it, I don't think he actually likes wrestling that much. I just thought he did when I first met him and put his name on my phone. Fine. Can you just change my name then? Does that work for your little system? It'd get kind of confusing for me, but I'm open to suggestions. What do you have in mind? Okay, what about just Ian? Already taken by Adrian, the second half of his name is- Ian H. Irene Alexis Norman Henderson. It's a memorable acronym. Ian Heacox, who I've known since the sixth grade. Too similar to your dad, I have him under Ian's dad. Father of my best friend, Ian Heacox, whom I've known since the sixth grade. How often do you talk to my dad? Never really, but if he does call, I wouldn't be ready for it. You know, I don't want to be confused as exactly who's calling. Fine, just do Ian Ian. There's already a big Ian, so I had to make another big Ian by naming him twice. Okay, just call Big Ian Big Ian, call second Big Ian B Ian, and then call me Ian Ian. I don't know, can we just slow down for a second? Please, hey, if I start changing all the Ian's around, this whole system that I've developed is just gonna collapse like a house of cards. I don't wanna start changing everything now. It's really delicate. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I mean, I just don't understand why you're calling me small dick Ian. You've never even seen my dick. <laughs> no, dick is short for Dickens. First time I met you, you were reading Charles Dickens in class. I was? Yeah, I've, I've always just kind of known you as Dickens Ian. And then over time, it got shortened to Dick Ian. And then when I met the taller, fatter Ians, small Dick Ian. You see? Wow. Can't believe you remember what I was reading when we first met. Of course, man, you're my best friend. How could I ever forget? That's... <laughs> It's really thoughtful, man. I'm, I'm sorry I thought your little naming system was offensive. I just had no idea. No problem, man. It happens to the best of us. All right, we're good. You cool? Cool. Ian's mom, mother of my best friend, Ian Heacox, who has a small dick? I saw it one time when you were standing next to me at a urinal. It was really small. Still best friends? <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for subscribing. Click the video on the left to watch bloopers and deleted scenes from this video. I was having a bad day. Your dick gets smaller when you have a bad yes. day? Yes. Dick mood swings? Ever heard of it? And click the video on the right to watch the time autocorrect ruined our lives. Let's meet at six. My phone's autocorrecting. I am alone auto-asphyxiating. And you can click these boxes on your phone now too. Yay!